Hey guys, Detail and Jacqueline here, and we have another episode of What's on Your Shelf. And basically what we're doing is just taking a sneak peek into other people's collections. And on this episode, we're going to check out the collection of Henry Velasquez. Hi, I'm Henry Velasquez. I'm a Dallas native, born and raised, and I live in Plano, Texas. I've been collecting figures since as long as I can walk, and my parents have been purchasing them for me until I was able to buy my own. Now my collection is at its highest peak, and we're up to about 150, so let's check out what I have. So my collection consists of mostly 6-inch figures. I like to collect DC and Marvel, uh, but my favorites are the Japanese imported figures like Figma, Rebel Tech, and SH Figure Arts, as well as D-Arts. The Mega Man one's actually one of my favorites. But as of lately, I've mostly been getting Marvel Legends. Got the Hall of Armor here and a few random over here. DC is just all over the place, really. What I can get my hands on, I probably will. Mostly Batman as well. Right over here, I'm a big X-Men fan, so I've got quite the selection over here. Apocalypse being the best one out of all of these. And then you got Deadpool right here. And this shelf right here is just miscellaneous, as you can tell. But I mostly use this to take photography on my Instagram, at RetroHenry. So I've always been a big Spider-Man fan, but what I really like about Spider-Man the most is Venom. The actual symbiote. Not so much Eddie Brock or Flash Thompson or Mad Gargan, whoever it is but the symbiote itself and its spawn. So I've got a few little variations right here. Anti-Venom, Normal Venom, Flash Thompson Venom, and then one that I painted myself are the Thunderbolts, as well as Toxin. I'm missing a carnage, but I'll get them soon. Another type of figure that I like is Kid Robot, just because they're very urban, real collective type deal. And they also do plenty of collaborations like Street Fighter, Futurama, Adult Swim, things like that. I just really like the artist's appeal for them, and. It just, it's more of a real collector type deal, and the only thing about them is that they're a lot more expensive, so I limit myself to the blind box, $10 ones, keep it cheap for myself. My prized possession is this Juggernaut statue that my friends pitched in for to give me one Christmas, I think it was about two years ago, and it's like having a little piece of them, you know, there was about 10 of the guys, really close friends of mine, and it's just right there, just right where I can see it, just reminds me of what I mean to them and what they mean to me. So my second prized possession is this Ghostface Killer doll that I got from my friend Chris Coloma. I remember getting it either for my birthday or Christmas a couple years ago, but it's really legit. It's just, back then I was really into old school hip hop music, still kind of am, but I mean the figure itself just has sentimental value too. Um, the figure is very rare. I had to get it from a specific website, just wasn't expecting it, but he got it for me and it's amazing. Like, he's got some... It's like about six cash phrases. The figure was on Jimmy Kimmel Live. He doesn't have the gold chain or the eagle, but I mean that thing's expensive anyway. Like I, I just like having this itself. Another piece of my collection is my comic books, which ranges from new and old, mostly new. And here and there I'll get some old stuff. Penny Gauntlet, not that old. Um, Phoenix Saga, not that old or well, it's a little bit older than that. Old Man Logan, it's newer. Some of the newer stuff, I got Raphael, micro series signed by mouse card artist and creator. And then I got the first appearance of Dark Phoenix, created. And some of my biggest, best collection and item from comic books is TMNT number four from the original series. Also autographed by Kevin Eastman on the inside cover right here. So that's my collection. My name is Henry Velasquez. You can follow me on Instagram at RetroHenry. And thank you for watching this video. This is what's on my shelf. So before you guys forget, hit the subscribe button, please.